And welcome back, everybody. We were not teasing you when we <laughs> said we have a cooking guest from northern New York. Peggy Morrill is joining us right now. She didn't come out, well, yeah, I want to say she did come out just to cook with us, <laughs> but her grandbabies are here in Nebraska. So thank you oh, for so taking time from the grandbabies to cook with us. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So we're going to make a, a baked ziti recipe that mm -hmm. we've been making for years in our family. And uh, I think I found it in a Family Circle magazine mm -hmm. years ago. And I like it because it adds some vegetables to okay. um, to your your pasta mm -hmm. and you can um, the original recipe said to use half bake half now and then um, put half in the freezer oh. so you can um, <coughs> get two, two for yeah. one so that yeah. was with the busy family that was good well I'm so, gonna get started okay so we need <coughs> one onion and we need six tablespoons of butter six tablespoons. because um, the filling of is a Oops. creamed um, spinach and so I've been making my own cream spinach you can of course Ooh. buy it uh, I already cream, but I love learning how to make cream, creamy spinach. Well, because yeah. when I knew the recipe, because we had the directions and the ingredients that said creamy spinach, I yeah. thought, can you buy that in the store? I don't know. You can just buy cream spinach. Well, you can. Um, okay. But so we'll melt this on make low. It. Yeah. That's my right burner. And a right. family favorite, huh? Yeah. So every time I come to Nebraska, I usually uh, make it. it you, it's been it's been called and asked for. Mom, can yeah. you make the <laughs> pasta that we love? And there yeah. we go, baked ziti pasta with spinach. So there's the easy ingredient. So we got just one box of the pasta, right? Yes. And so I did cook that ahead of time, so we would be ready to go. And okay. is that you use the penne? Is that what? Well, this is pe yes. This okay. is penne, and um, I, the original recipe calls for ziti, but and okay. I, I, those are probably the only two I've ever used, but okay. you could do anything you wanted. Okay. So if you want to put the, the so. sauce. <laughs> so a whole jar? Yes. A whole jar. And this is al dente, the pasta? Yes, it is, because we are going to be baking it again. <coughs> okay. Did you ever, <coughs> excuse me, fry your pasta? I have never fry? done that. I've had a friend of mine who, um, she, she cooked it al dente and then she fried it on the stove and it was really, oh, was really good. Just with butter or? Yes. I've and then air you fried can, it. It's yeah, really good then, air fried. Yeah, or air fry it too yep. and then you can put your sauce on and it's really good that way. So, and, you know, you could adjust <clears throat> how much sauce you like, but mm -hmm. then um, yeah. we've got mozzarella, Ooh, mozzarella to, cheese. To, we'll mix, put in most of that. Okay, okay. I, you can, uh, the recipe says one cup. I think I usually put in a little extra. Because cheese makes everything better. <laughs> it does. Now, so we'll yeah. save them for the top, too. We need to yeah. tell everybody, we told her she's from like upstate New York, but if you like syrup, tell everybody a little bit about because yeah. that's beautiful country, but you guys do syrup. Right, so we make maple syrup. Um, my husband's from the Adirondacks, so he grew up making, making maple syrup. And this is the time of year that we're just wrapping up. Um, it hasn't been a great year, but uh, he, he pulled the taps out of our trees last oh night. Oh my goodness, really? Yes. Um, and uh, <coughs> it takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon Isn't of that syrup. Crazy? So it's a lot of boiling, and you need to do it outside so that. Wow. <laughs> How many trees do you tap then? We probably. <coughs> so he, in a really large tree, we can sometimes even put four taps oh, in. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, and then a smaller tree is one tap, and uh, depending on the year. So yep. this year we have about 20 trees tapped. Wow. What makes it a good year for maple syrup? So if, if it freezes, goes below freezing at night mm -hmm. and then warms up and if it's sunny this year um, where we are mm -hmm. it's been a coming up a freezing but then it gets Cold it's it cloud. stays cloudy okay. so it doesn't run as well so okay. if the sun you know yes you can put that right in wow Maybe I we'll didn't know that, that about so. syrup you have to have the sun to get it and it's it helps. the best it, helps. Yeah. it so. is the best syrup oh yeah. my gosh Okay, and here's the I think these are directions so okay we're gonna preheat the oven to oh, 400 yeah, um, and then we're going to put this in a 9 by 13 uh, baking dish, easy enough. Um, so we're going to, um, we, and Peggy has the pasta, we put it back in the pot, we added the marinara sauce, some mozzarella cheese, <clears throat> and then we'll put some of the mixture in the bottom of the baking dish, and then we're going to do, start doing our layering and toughing and layering. So this is probably a good time. We're going <clears> to <throat> take a break, we're going to spray our 9 by 13 pan, and we'll be back and finish up this delicious. And we're back with Peggy Morrill. Uh, we should say that her daughter, Molly, does work here yes. at NTV. <laughs> She's yes. our wonderful director that's always in our ear telling us, you put too much salt in that. She knows how to cook because when Ronnie yeah. and I are out here trying to cook, sometimes we have to stop and go, Molly, was that good enough? And she'll tell us yes or no. She's and a lot of times it's a no, but yeah. just go with it is what we get. She so. just chuckles with us. We're making so. baked ziti, and I this is a fantastic Yummy. recipe. Yeah. 
I can so, tell already. Yeah, we did a, a box of, of penne pasta, right? Yes. And we put some marinara sauce and about right. a cup of mozzarella cheese in here. Yes. And then... And so, and now we're working on the cream spinach. So we've got okay. butter going and we um, added the onions. Okay. As, and so as they that. soften. Okay. Do you want to add the flour, Ronnie? Yes, I oh, would. Oh, there's flour. So this, this will thicken the sauce. Ah. And we had six the whole thing? spoons of yes, I, I did. I did pre-measure. Yes. Yeah. So, so the butter and the flour are going to be mm -hmm. equal parts. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like a roux with. Yeah, it's, you're making a white sauce, yeah. really. So we'll okay. let that. Do you want to put? Do you want to stir? Yeah. Yes. Let me and just. So that we way put you can, half of yes. the C in. Absolutely. In the, so we're going to hold. So you can, oh, I'll just. How about if I just scoop okay. it from here? Perfect. And then we're going to put this in. Yeah. You want to keep going? Yeah. We'll let. It'll be good to. Um, it's good. I'll turn it down a little Just bit. Just okay. okay. Yeah, because I don't um, want it to. Should stir it because okay. to get the flour taste out. Yep. Yeah, so I know what adding. Molly and her boys are having for dinner tonight. And then you're just going to kind of deglaze that and give it a little. Yeah. So we'll start adding this. The I, I use half and half. You can okay. Any, or you know. Tonight. Um, but I add it slowly so it'll incorporate and. Uh, then it, it thickens. To me, I think it thickens faster I when I do it. I never made a white sauce like that. That looks really good. Yeah. And it's easy. Why was I thinking it was so hard to make? Yeah. Well, because, not. Carol, it's more than three ingredients. That's exactly in my case, why. In my case, it's... Exactly, it's, exactly why. Yeah. Because if you're like me, you don't have people in the kitchen helping you stir. It's right. just you and yeah, if, the, so if somebody's at the door. Me, please, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how much half mm, and half? So I'm, or, we'll use this whole... Okay, a uh, pint. Two, yeah. Two, mm -hmm. two couple cups. Yeah. Yummy. And I can't even begin to tell you how good this smells. I, oh, and then to put, I love spinach, but your spinach is thawed, so you want it to be thawed, so correct? So that is, yeah, so um, you can, do have to thaw it ahead of time. Okay. And then uh, okay. squeeze out the water. Okay. Although you could also do it with um, um, with fresh spinach. I just oh, saw okay. a recipe for okay. that. That's so, just as good. Okay. Yummy. Look and at this that. is getting nice and thick. Do you want to oh. add a little nutmeg to the Oh, so nutmeg to the pasta? Really? That's to the add it oh, to the to sauce. That? Yes, yes, please. Ooh, Carol. How much so just like What's nutmeg going to do to it? Uh, Tell me a when. lot of people That's good. Just okay. a little bit, but it's oh, I it's think got, it's a classic oh, addition to, to mm. a white sauce. Yeah, because you always think of it, it cooking something in the fall or adding yes. it to Yeah. You know, we're going to take our show on the road. We're going to go to upstate <laughs> northern northern um, New York, the way she was telling us during the commercial how she does her maple syrup, you just boil it. Once you get that sap, you boil, 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 boil. Hours and maybe wow. overnight. So, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, this All right, so yummy. now we can add the spinach. And Yum. how much spinach is this? So I, I used um, two boxes of frozen. Okay. Oh, I um, love spinach. I, I, I doubled, actually, mm -hmm. I doubled the, the recipe just to mm -hmm. get... Get more veggies in. Yes, yeah, so the, the boys won't, your little grandsons won't know they're eating right. veggies. So. <laughs> oh, when you, when you put grandma. it in a recipe like this, you don't really know. You don't, I mean, there's not much taste to it, but uh -huh. it just right. adds that little extra. Right. And yes. that nutmeg, what a great, great I never idea. Would have, I never know what to use nutmeg for. I always think it's for baking. Oh, I use it mostly for that, but for, okay. for the white sauce, and yeah. um, it does. Oh, oh, look at that. Really okay, good. so does okay. that look pretty thick? It, it's I'm pretty thick. turn this off, and then we can... Uh, Add, Told me to yeah. add it, put Why it on top of there. Right on top. Just the whole thing yes. goes on top? Oh, yeah, my goodness. Yeah, and then we'll just goodness. put the rest of the pasta on top after. Oh, Peggy, Peggy, it's Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. It makes it nice and creamy. Yes. So, can you come back tomorrow? Oh, she's <laughs> oh. leaving. No, don't, don't leave. you got to come back tomorrow and bake for Oh, this looks Check delicious. That, that okay, looks Okay, this is scrumptious. Okay. And then we top it with the leftover pasta. And and we bake it for how long we need to wrap, but we bake it for how yeah. long? I, it, until it's bubbly, until 20 it's to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 That's minutes. Yep. And so we'll put some more cheese on top. Oh, and you can, and, no, you're good. Yeah, okay, and okay. we'll share this recipe on our website at Nebraska.tv. Peggy, thanks for coming. Peggy, oh, thanks thank for having you. me. Appreciate oh, it. We might be Zooming with you sooner than you know. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll wrap up today's show right after this, friends. Don't go anywhere.